Welcome to the channel. On this channel, we dive deep into the world of trash, from junk finds to hoarder houses. And we're your hosts. I'm Matt. I'm Jojo, and we're your favorite trash talkers and business motivators. On this channel, we're all about turning trash into cash. Every day in the junk world, it's like a modern day treasure hunt. So if you want to get inspired, motivated, learn how to make some extra cash, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Now let's get this money. So you want to learn how to price junk removal. Well, you're in the right place. And that's one of the most difficult things to learn how to do when you start your trash business. And in this video, we're going to teach you how to do it. And the first thing you need to do is go to your local landfill, dump, or transfer station and get a price sheet. That's going to tell you how much it costs to dump certain items. Now here's a price sheet right here. You wanna stop at every single transfer station and dumps in your area and get one because certain places are cheaper. And you wanna do your homework and learn these sheets because you'll know how much it costs to dump per ton, how much it costs to dump a mattress, a refrigerator, a washer machine, a dryer. You wanna do your homework and do your research because every single dumps is gonna be different on the prices. So you wanna learn which ones are the cheapest so you can make more money. Now how we charge, we charge by the volume. We don't charge by the hour, it's a flat rate. Now what you wanna do that's really important is figure out how many cubic yards your trailer is, your dump truck is, or your vehicle you're using. And how you do that is, you multiply the length and the width and the height of the vehicle you're using and divide it by 27, and that lets you know exactly how many cubic yards your vehicle is. Now worldwide, the prices are different per cubic yard. It can be anywhere from $30 a cubic yard all the way up to $80 a cubic yard. So you gotta figure out the sweet spot in your area. Now just in case you're confused and wondering what's a cubic yard? Jojo, what's a cubic yard? A cubic yard is about the size of a washing machine. So how many washing machines are gonna fit in your truck or trailer? Now you should also call around and see what your competitors are charging. You wanna be in the same ballpark. You don't wanna be way under. You don't wanna be the cheapest hauler. You wanna make as much money as possible, but still give your clients the best deal. Now when it comes to pricing, we keep it super simple for the customer. So when we show up, we let them know we have a minimum pickup price, which might be $99 or $100. $119. That's for like a dresser or maybe a chair. Then we have a quarter low price, a half low price, a three quarter low price, and a full low price. And a full low price might be different depending on how far out the people are and what kind of material it is. Now, some junk haulers might do it different, but we like to keep it simple for the customer. Now, there's three major factors when it comes to pricing. Factor number one, you want to know how far the job is. What city is it in? Is it super far from you? Also, how far is the dump from that job? Do you have to travel a long way? These things are gonna matter. Factor number two, what kind of material is it? Is it super heavy? Is it super light? Is it stuff that's gonna cost more money to get rid of? These things are important to know. And factor number three, how far is the stuff? Can you pull right up to it and load up? Or do you have to go fetch the stuff? If we have to go fetch the stuff, that's when you charge more money. Now, when you want to charge more money, when that person calls you up and they have a mattress that has bed bugs, you might want to double your price. And also, if you show up to a job, maybe it's a homeless encampment or a house that used to be a drug house, and there's a bunch of needles there, you definitely want to charge more money. Another time you charge more money is when the job is super nasty. We once showed up to a job that had food in the kitchen, totally disgusting, and it had been sitting there raw meat for like months and it was gross with maggots you actually had to wear vicks under your nose so you will definitely charge more money in a circumstance like that another time you want to charge more money when you gotta go up them flights of stairs to grab stuff if you gotta go in the attic or the basement you want to charge more money and also when you're dragging stuff up a hill or down a hill you want to charge more money and also if you have to empty out cabinets sometimes cabinets are super full of stuff and it is very time consuming having to take everything out of the cabinet. Now, when it comes to construction debris, you probably wanna charge more money. And here's a little tip too. When you show up to that job and you see a pile of construction debris, make sure you dig through the pile and also ask the contractor or the customer, is there any tile in the pile? Because sometimes they'll hide that in the bottom of the pile. So be aware of that. 
Now, let's say you show up to a job and it's a pain in the ass, stuff's all tangled in the bushes, there's poison ivy, poison oak there. Jojo, what do you do? Well, if it's a job and you look at it and you're like, oh, I really don't want to do this job. It's a lot of work. High price it. High price it so that if you do get the job, it's absolutely worth your time. Now, in the trash business, you always want to look for opportunities to upsell. Let's say you show up to a job, you haul away some trash in the backyard, you see a messed up play structure falling apart, you can let the customer know, hey, you know what? We knocked those down. Or maybe it's a hot tub you see that has spider webs and they're not using it. You can always upsell and let them know, you know what? We cut those up and take those. And that's a great way to make more money on your jobs. Now, when do we charge less? We charge less when it's a curbside pickup or if it's just cardboard or really light green waste. Now remember, you're not going to land every single job, but the more jobs you show up to in person, you'll lock in. Better than over the phone trying to give a price. Now it's so important to show up in uniform with your vehicle backed up in their driveway so they know you're ready to get the job done. Because if you schedule it later on, like a week later, a lot of times customers will cancel. So you want to get the job done ASAP when they're ready, get that money, and don't lag on getting it. Now, something else that's really important, too, is don't ever put a price on junk, even if you're going to resell it. So even if it's metal and we know that we could take it, recycle it and make a little bit of cash, it is still a lot of work putting into the truck. That's just a few perks of the trash business. You can resell stuff, you can scrap stuff and make more money. Now, things you don't want to do is lower your prices to satisfy cheap customers. You don't ever want to do that. Now, you can work with someone's budget. Let's say they have a budget of $300 and that's all they have to spend. And the job's like a $600 job. Let them know you take all the bulky stuff and get rid of that stuff and leave them the rest of it. And get that money. Get that $300. Well, when you do something like that, you're making the customer happy because you're getting rid of the things that they feel are most important to get rid of. And you're also making some money. This wasn't a waste of time showing up and giving an estimate. So remember, junk removal is a luxury service and your pricing should reflect that. Now here's an actual video of us behind the scenes pricing a job. Now this job is not a big job and the realtor needs three quotes. So we're gonna walk around this property and show you exactly how we price jobs like this. So how me and the JoJo bid jobs like this is she walks one way and I go the other way. And then when we're done, we come back together and see if we are close in our estimation. So let's do the calculation. So I'll walk on both sides of the house. I'll start on one side first. I'll check everything. So now I'm calculating. I'm looking over here, not much stuff. Got some bike schools over there. Got some couches right here. I'm looking at about a half load right now. And there's more trash over here. Come on. There's all this stuff. This stuff right here. There's more stuff over here. That's a resellable item right there. The lawnmower is a resellable item. So we got about a full load. So what I'll do is hold one on one hand. So one full load. Now it's walking in the garage. Come on. Let's take a look over here what we got. So one thing that I will do is check all the cabinets everywhere. So checking all these. A little bit of stuff in here, nothing in there. It's real important to always open everything up before you give a price. So we got about one full load in here too. So check it out. That's two full loads. Now let's go in the house and take a look. Here it is. So checking all the cabinets again. Not much in there, not much in there. Not much stuff in here so far. Now here we go. Now this is a resellable item. I can definitely get a hundred bucks on Facebook Marketplace real fast, real quick. So that's why. So we got about, I would say, a quarter load with all this stuff right here. I'm checking all the cabinets again. Let's take a look over here. Got all this stuff right here. 
We are at about, I would say, two and a half loads so far. Now let's go upstairs. We got a mattress right here. And so we're at two and a half loads. Got another mattress in here. Nothing really in the closet. Now when I'm pricing these jobs, I'm trying to figure out ways to upsell. So in here, what do we have? We're at about two and three quarters of a load. It's not much in here. So we are at, I would say, three full loads. Plus we got six mattresses. So whenever something costs us money, we always charge it to the customer. Now let's find out what the JoJo quoted this job. So I calculate about three full loads. And let's say there was stuff in all the cabinets because there often is. You want to charge more money. Number one, going to take up more room in your truck. Number two, going to be time consuming, bagging all that stuff up. So keep that in mind and charge more when there's things in the cupboards. Now, if you guys like this video and you just started your junk removal business, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. We have tons of videos that will help you out on your junk removal journey. And we'll catch you on the next one. Ooh, 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 ooh.